What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to take a look at a hurry up offense that I've been using on the next gen console. I used it on the 360 as well but never really got around to showing the scheme. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me. This is a 15 minute video. I'm kind of just winging it. All these plays are mixed in together. So I'm going to do the best that I can to try to explain each play as I show you the highlights. If I kind of lose track, I apologize, but I'm going to do the best that I can. It's a hurry up offense based around pistol strong. We're going to mix in some pistol twins as well. Uh, and then we're also going to use an offense that I showed you earlier in the year, actually on the 360, which was single back bunch base. So I'll put all the links in the description for those videos so you can see how I run those schemes. And I'm going to give you some additional information. So here we're looking at a play off tackle out of pistol strong. Now this isn't anything new by any means, but I just really find this to be a great running formation. Um, especially with the Philadelphia Eagles, the best triple threat in the game. Bryce Brown, as you can see right here, running the off tackle as the second running back. And then we've got uh, Shady McCoy. Uh, by the way, don't ever do that when you get close to the goal line. Uh, and then we got Shady McCoy as our main halfback. Three great players with Michael Vick, uh, you know, being able to run the draw out of the single back bunch base, which I'm going to show you. Bryce Brown running the off tackle is just completely deadly. Other teams like the Redskins are pretty good with Alfred Morris, Roy Hilu, and of course RG3. Um, you know, so if you're if you're going to use a scheme like this, you're definitely going to want you know more running back help. You know, in leagues, if you really want to run something like this, getting a fast quarterback, and then just basically even if the guy's a bum and he's just got a ton of speed, then you can put him in the second halfback position. And just take off and this is the deadliest move in next gen man right there absolutely love that uh, i heard someone in the comment section saying that the way to counter that is to just let the computer make the tackle not the case if the computer's there and you do that move it's going to juke him out completely and you're going to run right by him so here i'm just showing play after play of the off tackle just showing you how successful it is and again just like my user pick video i actually showed the same play twice so I don't know why I'm doing that. It's kind of the new system that I'm using to put all my videos together. I kind of lose track. Now here with Shady McCoy, we're looking at the halfback stretch out of Pistol Strong. Now one of the problems with this particular formation, which is why I love to use it in a hurry up offense and mix up a couple formations, is that when we run the stretch, the tight end lines up on the right. When we run the off tackle, the tight end run lines up on the left. So that's going to be a little bit of a dead giveaway. So we're going to try to mix in some other plays to keep our opponent off balance. We're going to run hurry up offense. We're going to run some other formations, audible as quick as we can sometimes. Other times we're just going to sit at the line, get a good look at the defense, and then just be off to the races. So many times I was going to add pictures to this particular scheme, but I didn't really get around to it. 500 yards rushing, 600 yards rushing games where I was just running the ball without even using the passing plays at all and just absolutely dominating. I even lost a couple games where I was running for that many yards and still just lost because, I mean, I was kind of labbing. And you're actually going to see, I think, in some of these scores where I have very low scores. A lot of the times where I make moves like when I was uh, uh, hurtling on the goal line, just trying different things, um, but overall, the scheme is absolutely deadly. And here you're looking at the inside zone split. So we've got the off tackle. The tight end lines up on the left. We've got the stretch. The tight end lines up on the right. Here we've got inside zone split where the tight end lines up on the right again. Now we're going to look at a ton of plays. Another play with the tight end lining up on the left side, just like the off tackle. Uh, what is it? It is called... Actually, I'm just going to bear with me. We've got a ton of highlights for this one. It is PA corner halfback slip. I always forget the names of these plays because a lot of them are so similar, like triple option switch and triple option left or whatever the case may be. So the setup for this play is I love to put uh, X on a drag, even though you're not always going to see that. Sometimes I was putting them on a streak, and that was earlier when I was kind of testing things out. There you see I put them on a... Um, on a little hitch route or whatever the case may be. When I put him on a streak, I tried to throw it up, and it just seemed like so many times the ball would just go out of bounds. So I always put him on a drag. But the glitchy route in this particular play is 
the B receiver. As you can see right there, we're just throwing to him over and over and over again. Again, zone defense. Nice little hurdle right there for the touchdown. Goes crazy. But just look at the route. Again, zone, it does a really nice job. We're not going to want to pass lead on this play. If you pass lead on next gen in this play, on 360, you could pass lead. But on next gen, I find that it's not very good at all. Um, another thing I like about this route is that whether it's uh, man or zone, like depending on the zones, he's going to run it a little bit differently. Sometimes he'll go a little bit deeper. Sometimes he'll cut towards the middle. Just kind of depends what zones are over top. So I really like that about this play. So we're putting X on a drag. Uh, we're running this, as you can see right there. I mean, so many times that happened. I mean, I'm showing so many highlights, but so many times I was just able to take off. No pass lead, just throw it. And this route is completely deadly. Um, like I said, we're running a hurry up offense. Here, we've got the tight end on a corner route that does a really nice job against man. I don't really throw it against zone too much, even though you do see that I found an opening. So I threw it against man. I'm going to pass lead down into the sideline right there or pass lead up. Obviously, you're going to take a look at the coverage. Sometimes the pass leading is going to be different. And here again, even though I said I love it against man, there's going to be certain zones that he's going to be able to get away from. Uh, even again here. Actually, you know what? Was that the same play? No, it wasn't. It just looked very similar. Um, let's see. So, man, I'm actually throwing this against zone a lot more than I thought now that I'm looking at the gameplay footage. Kind of crazy, but a lot of a lot of um, times he's getting open against man there. That's against man. The safety was covering him. He's just going to do a really nice job of getting open. We're going to pass lead down to the sideline. If the, if the man is playing pretty close to him, that's when we want to pass down into the sideline, click on and make a play. So... Uh, so far, we have the off tackle, we've got the stretch, we've got the inside zone split, three great running plays, and the PA halfback slip it really is just a way to keep our opponent off balance. Now, it's a great passing play. I, I do love it, but I'm going to focus on the run, and another great hurdle right there. I'm going to focus on the run, just going to pound the ball, pound the ball, and when he's least expecting it, I'm going to throw the halfback slip in there. Uh, or PA corner halfback, whatever the play is. Um, I'm going to put the triangle or Y on a wheel route, as you can see right here. And I'm going to leave the halfback um, directly behind the quarterback blocking most of the time. If you find that he's playing a lot of max coverage, then of course you can put the other running back on a wheel as well. And we can throw in the halfback screen. Once our opponent starts blitzing, he sees that we're running one passing play. He knows that we're running a lot. He's going to try to blitz, so we can just throw in the screen here and there. But that's obvious. You know, I mean, everyone knows how to run the screens. So here what we're doing is we're going to Pistol Strong Twins, I think. Bear with me. Yeah. So Pistol Strong Twins, I love... Let me just take a look. What are these plays called? So this is triple option left or triple option switch. Let me just go take a look here real quick. Um, doo -doo -doo. So this play is called triple option left out of pistol strong twins. Then we've got triple option switch, which is the play to the right. Now, this isn't, there's kind of a problem with this. It is very effective. But as you see right there, you see how he tackled the running back and the quarterback kind of almost got tackled. Depending on the defense that your opponent plays, um, sometimes it's going to happen where you go to hand the ball off and your quarterback just gets creamed even though they're not protecting against the quarterback. They go to protect against the running back, and while they're going to tackle the running back, that's the point when your quarterback gets hit. So what I found is it just depends on the type of defense that your opponent is playing. That that's see right happen what right there, that's going to happen. So if it's an issue where I'm getting creamed and my quarterback's going down, I'm just going to get rid of these plays altogether. Like I'll come in this formation and start passing rather than, rather than running if he starts stopping it. Um, so it's not perfect, but for those games where you're not playing against a defense that's doing that to your quarterback, you're just going to be able to dominate. Even there, we're getting tackled and we still pitch the ball, we get a pancake, and we're off to the races. So it is effective, and it can be very effective, even against great players. It has nothing to do with if your opponent's really good or anything like that. It's just certain formations, certain types of defenses. 
I have found have kind of posted that problem. And here with the play uh, double flares, I'm just making a lot of adjustments. I put the halfback on a wheel route and put the slot receiver on a slant. And again, the zone. And man, you're going to notice that those three receivers, the running back, mixed with the tight end, mixed with the slot receiver on a slant, you're going to find an opening. Now, you're going to see a link in the description to a scheme that I showed for the Xbox 360. It works the same way on the Xbox One, which is single back bunch base. There's plays half back counter, PA waggle, uh, the screen pass, as you're going to see right here. Uh, other things. We're just going to run a hurry up style offense. We get a look at the defense. And I love this because we can get to it as we're in pistol strong or pistol strong twins. Uh, and it is a very effective scheme. Um, it's not quite as effective as it was in the uh, Xbox 360. But as you can see, I'm still running it with great success here. I run a play action after he thinks I'm going to run to that side. See how he attacks the run? That's one of the things I show, and then we get a wide open receiver on a play action to the left. Um, like I said, just check out the link. I don't really need to explain much of it, but people have been asking me if this works on next gen. And here, as you can see, I come out. I don't really like the defense. I switch it up, go to the run, quickly snap it. I've run the play action a couple times. He doesn't really know. Am I going to be running that ball? Should he attack the run, or is he going to leave the wide receiver all the way open on the other side of the field it's just a great great formation uh this off to, this uh halfback counter run was another play that somebody was asking me hey i can't seem to get the halfback counter to work on next gen even though they got it on the 360 it definitely works on next gen also showed a play right here the halfback screen this is a really glitchy run with michael vick as you can see we run the play as is, uh, and he's a left-handed quarterback, so we're able to take off to the left. I do like Michael Vick in this scenario because I like to run the formation unflipped. And with a left-handed quarterback, we're able to take off and pick up huge yards um, against a lot of different defenses. It's kind of glitchy, right? You're just following your blockers on the screen. So check out the link in the description for that. But if you like to run the formation otherwise, unflipped, you can use a Cam Newton, an RG3, a right-handed quarterback, and just run it to the right side the exact same way. You'll see that in the video. Um, now here, what we're doing is we're going to strong close. I love this because the quick toss and the halfback force or halfback off tackle are extremely deadly. As you see here, it was my go-to play on fourth and three. I really didn't like uh, what I was seeing by my opponent. And I'm just running hurry up. And you can add other things, you know, other things that you like that are the same type of formation uh, that we can actually get to. So you can add in a lot. See, again, there, I kind of had a little bit of trouble. This was early in the game when I first tried it out. Luckily, I got the touchdown. Um, but, you know, if the game goes on and then I start getting tackled, you know, my quarterback is, is getting tackled, then I'm just going to get away from the play. But if I continue to, even though I'm getting close to being tackled, I can still continue to run it, have a lot of success. This isn't anything super special. I, just to be honest with you, I'm, I kind of was running it a little bit, had a lot of success. Wasn't really going to post a video, but I had all this gameplay footage, and I don't really have anything right now for the channel. So just kind of thought I'd, I'd show you guys this. Um, I don't know. I think actually, did I show these clips already? Um Anyway, I was running this. Yeah, I did. I did show these clips. This is unbelievable. Anyway, I don't really know how that happened. Like I said, I was just kind of winging it. I just threw all this stuff together, figured I'd commentate over it. I definitely showed this. Um, so what we're going to do is when the game first came out, I was running this, and I was playing against Zeddy when he first came up with his 4-4 defense. Uh, there's an ebook on the Gamers Lab. It is a nice defense. You should definitely check it out. But just to show you, this formation does a really nice job. I uh, actually did some pretty nice work against Zeddy. And see, Zeddy, you shouldn't be posting videos calling my name out because now I'm going to be posting drives against you, making you look a little silly. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Here's the gameplay of a drive against Zeddy.